everyone. Welcome to a new episode of We the People. This is a Planet Healer and today with us we have Miss Yogini Bapat who is a volunteer with Paryavaran Sanrakshan Gativedi and she's into a lot of environmental initiatives in the city and in the country. Yogini, thank you so much for joining us today. If you could just give a brief introduction about yourself and what you do. Yeah, thank you so much Pooja for having me over here. Thank you Hula Day and uh, so I am working for this organization named Paryavaran Sanrakshan Gativedi and it's a pan-India organization and uh, we have volunteers across the country who are working for the betterment and volunteers may say engineers, hai, doctors, hai, CAs, hai. we have everyone covered, we have students as well. So it's nice to work for something where we don't expect of any returns, that's the best part and that is why all the real genuine work is, you know, sorted and done yeah. happening. Right. So what are the kind of campaigns that this organization works on? Okay. So let me just tell you about how and what we work upon. So we have these uh, three upakrams, which are also called as, uh, you know, I, uh, I am Hamdo Bolte. So we work for uh, paid, pani and quality. So paid is like forestry. Yes. We cover uh, not just plantations, but uh, we cover the collection of indigenous seeds also where uh, right now the campaign is going on of Ek Ped Desh Ke Naam. Okay. So Ek Ped Desh Ke Naam, why I tell you, because according to the data of WHO, uh, every person in their lifetime is supposed to plant more than 422 trees. But in our country, against our population, every person is right now planting only 28 or 25 or 28 trees. Okay. So that's definitely not enough. So what we thought of, why not Ek Pair Desh Ke Naam campaign, we'll start, we'll begin. And uh, it doesn't stop at one pair. It's like Bija Ropan Se Riksha Ropan. Okay. That is why the seeds come into ah. the picture. Right. So we, uh, for this, we don't have to go spending or anywhere or mm -hmm. do any campaign, or ye, or, you know, um, all these things where you need to spend a lot of time. You are eating fruits every day, right. you are getting seeds, huh. you are saving on the seeds, huh. you are making saplings out of the seeds right. and then you are just giving them for further plantation. Got so it. that way you know it's like a chain, Ki I tell 10 people, 10 people tell more 10 people right. and that is how the cycle goes on. Right. And then now the rainy seasons have come, on the 28th of August we have this Prakriti Vandan which we do every year okay. where we plant these saplings. Okay, so my question is... We are getting the seeds out yeah. of fruits and vegetables that yeah. we are consuming. We are growing it into saplings. But where are we getting the space to plant these trees? Because especially in Kolkata, construction yeah. is happening left, right and centre. And mostly it's very unplanned. The city right. has been constructed in a very unplanned way. So we don't have green spaces where we can plant these trees or where we can make a green cover or green bed. Absolutely. So what we do is usually we have a tie up with these people who have spaces actual spaces but then unfortunately not in Kolkata but on the suburbs okay. because we are right. out of Kolkata doesn't make sense because again you have the carbon footprint. Right. So what we do uh, in our organization as you know we are uh, uh, we have our presence in all the states right. so wherever within the city within the state whatever we can do we right. do like here there is a place in Sundarbans where we have a tie up with okay. so all that seeds go there. Then we have these farmers also who are into fruit farming and all. If you right. must have heard about Gram Samriti uh, Foundation. So they work for the farmers with the uh, yeah, a plantation of fruit trees in their own farms. Okay. So what we do is we donate the seeds to them. Yeah. They have their own small nursery where yeah. they grow the saplings, they do yeah. the grafting and then they give them to okay. for the further plantation. Yeah. Because if you don't do the grafting, again yeah. the quality of the plant Very or the tree great. or the fruit yeah. will be... You know, in a problem. Yeah. yeah. Hamper. Okay. So, we covered the first P and the other two P's, okay. Pani and so, Pani. Pani. So, saving water again. So, how can you save water? So, I wouldn't uh, say ki you will have to go out of the house. You have to have an extraordinary uh, thing and all everything. Simple things. Yeah. Paid Pani Polythene may Pani ke liye. We have five. Uh, we have one 5432 formula. 5432 one formula for the entire uh, yeah, protection of gel, jameen. Janwar, uh, jungle or jan. Okay. So when uh, water is concerned, gel is concerned, the first thing half bucket, uh, one bucket of water, half bucket comes later. Yeah. 
all of us in this weather especially would love to have a cold water shower yeah. right? right so the ek bari na aap timer laga dijiye just keep a bottle ye a bucket and how many buckets just goes wasted just see yeah. okay and just keep those buckets don't waste yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. then I'm sure there will be more than five buckets which we'll be using in five minutes, or rather more than that. I would be wrong in my calculation. Yeah. So what we uh, say is, try to you know spend less time in your shower. Right. Then you try to go for a one bucket bath. Right. And then if it is okay, try further down half bucket. In winters, you yeah. can try. Yeah. So I it's hygienic. A, it is hygienic, yeah. definitely. And then we are. Yeah, I have seen a video where a person is bathing with one and a half liters of water, which is not practical for us to do. Yeah. But we always believe in practicality. That's just the thing which you know motivates yeah. you to go towards one bucket. Yeah. Right. Right. So that is one thing. Then we have all these. Uh, re, uh, what I think we uh, call about is uh, reuse of water. Okay. okay. We have ROs. Right. Now some people need that RO, okay, ah. because the qual uh, quality, quality of yeah. drinking water mm -hmm. what we get is questionable. So they need RO. So you can't stop them. So right. what is the solution for it? Reuse that RO water because behind one glass of drinking water, six glasses of water is rejected. Sixty percent of water is rejected by the RO. So if you see, you know, it just goes on and on. Yeah. Bot bottle you have filled one bottle, then you can see you really feel sad to see the water just going away. So that water, you can reuse it. Right. Just keep a bucket or a bar, whatever right. you have over there. You can use it for planting. You can use it for... Uh, uh, ye, for charming, pocha, bantan, bar, toilets, washing, everything. I know a person, if you are yeah. into construction, you can always have a pipeline which goes to your tank. Which is which serves only your uh, you know bathroom may jo whatever water right. taps and all are there that gets connected to that so that is a yeah. very good solution plus reusing of water again uh, see this is the first step always go in a graduation yeah. everything if I go to do I will not do anything right. I end up in right. doing nothing so just the intensity of in the amount of change, change that you need will yes. uh, you know make you hesitant ki nahi hoga the rice water yeah in Bengal we have uh, this uh, shedo chal yeah Pani upar se ha, ha, ha. Hum, hum. right so that is the best uh, water for your hair okay. for the plants that has got immense uh, nutrients for yeah. the hair as well as plants so, dal ka pani, which we wash yes, and throw, yes, yes. all these waters you can reuse. Right. So, and okay. we're not just reusing it to save water, it is also adding benefits, benefits to the plants. Benefits to the plants. So, it's serving a double cause. Double cause. Right. And now we then, come to the last P, which yeah, is polythene. Polythene. So, polythene basically, waste management, mein sabse bhyankar, which we call is polythene. Right. First and foremost, stop using. Refuse. Right. Just refuse. But there are people who you know we refuse karenge, but someday they will do yeah. so till that day comes what are you going to do yeah. so we need to have a solution for that single use polythene nobody is going to recycle since you are in that industry you very well know because there is no value to that uh, thing and also these uh, multi uh, layered plastics mm -hmm. plastic bhi hai, aluminum bhi hai, aur kya hai, mujhe pata nahi, aur yeah. bhi hai. there are seven right. layers I believe so how are you going to recycle it? Right. So we have a one, uh, yeah, so I wouldn't call it a permanent solution, but a temporary solution of eco bricks. Right. So all these small, small chocolate wrappers, this right. tiny chocolate wrapper. Yes. Aap wo toffee khate ho, Haan. whatever that, uh, Haan, that yeah, one rupee, one eclairs, rupee eclairs, five rupee, hai, five star. Five star, star bhi bada ho gaya. Haan. Aapka those Haan. bricks ki goli yaar, yeah, yeah. They, they, yeah. they come in this yes. small package. Right. Who is going to collect all yeah. that? Huh? Pure kachri mein to aise bikhal jayega. Right. Like when you are uh, just picking up, if you mix chola and rai, aap aise uthao ge, rai to niche hi aa jayegi. Right. Rai ko koi dekhega, right. dikhega bhi nahi. Right. So when your recycler comes, they are right. picking up your pura uh, plastics, right. niche to rai hi jayega. Na? Nobody right. is going to look at it. It is going to further create lot of problem to the soil, microplastics. Then we just keep, ha, itna bad gaya. Microplastics are there in your stomach, in your blood, in your salt, in your water, everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So what is the solution for that? As of now, you don't let that fall into ground. Rook, if I tell you to stop having a chocolate, stop right. having toffees, mm -hmm. who all are going to stop? Until and unless you have a medical problem, 
Yeah. Nobody is going to stop. Right. They all and know. the problem is it's not just with chocolates and toffees. Aajkal sab so cheez ka itna chota chota sachets nikal gaya hai. Yeah. Be it shampoos, be it yeah. conditioners, be it any any cosmetic. Uh, item has yes. those samplers. Absolutely. You have that. Then with pizzas, you get those chili flakes and yes. oregano sachets. Yes. You yes. get those two rupee ketchup sachets. You have earbuds. You have those pads. Yeah. Those thin plastic pads which you get with your yes. new clothes. Yes. Yes. There are so, so many uh, places where yeah. plastic has seeped in. आप कितना consumption रोकोगे? कितना consumption रो रोकोगे and कहाँ कहाँ पे मैंने where are the recyclers? Everywhere in yeah. Calcutta we have just handful one one right. handful not even right. the second handful and the thing is that it has become so convenient mm -hmm. that uh, you know providing alternatives also becomes very difficult like let's say for clothes aapne bola logo ko logo ne bola theek hai we will not put plastic tags we will put paper tags but to attach that paper tag to that kapda they will use that patla plastic, plastic ka uh, string yeah. only yeah. then if it's a very high end brand they'll do a jute ka or a kapda ka rassi yeah. but that again comes with an added cost yes. it can never be as cost efficient as a simple plastic cover absolutely cup. so gradually you know awareness jaise badhega i think people will change but it will take a long time yeah. and till that long time we have a solution which is eco grids okay so now that you have touched upon this topic <laughs> please tell us because yogini has been one of the people who have introduced eco bricks in the city of kolkata we didn't know about eco bricks before this so here also you came to hula deck also and gave all of us a workshop on eco bricks so if you could just tell our audience what exactly is eco bricks where did this concept come from and why is it a good solution okay so this eco brick uh, concept has come from indonesia and uh, they are talk, uh, making eco bricks and all and they are doing the constructions also so there's a long story behind why eco bricks started over there but let me tell you why eco bricks so when eco bricks rather why is important here when eco bricks first you follow all the rs refuse reduce reuse rethink uh, and then uh, recycle and whatever is not recycled i'm talking about the soft polymers whatever right. you cannot recycle non recyclable non plastic recyclable waste. soft polythene clean dry goes into an eco brick okay. okay so when you're making an eco brick we have to make sure that it is clean it is dry it doesn't contain any food material so that way you can just put it into a clean pet pot okay now this is plastic against plastic how right. i'll tell you what so pet is also plastic. again plastic yeah. what you're putting inside is also a plastic right. so i'll just show you my yes. bottle so here so which is the most harmful plastic this bottle right. or what is there inside what is there inside for sure so this yeah. is like a genie in the bottle case okay. okay so the naughty genie yes is creating lot of uh, problem lot of havoc everywhere right Troubling our mother earth, uh, soil जा रहा है खराब हो रहा है when it uh, enters the soil there are all tiny yeah. particles basically uh, one more thing very important thing कि stop snipping off those edges right. when you're cutting a packet don't do that cut it like this so that it the strap is attached strap is intact along with that packet right. so those even the milk packets every morning four milk packets per house 45 ka flat hai mera yeah. imagine the number of small you know those Corners. cut pieces yeah. are uh, going into the dump and then we complain about microplastics everywhere yeah. again so stop complaining start acting at least this we can do right change the habit of cutting it like that then the small chocolate wrappers everything goes inside right. and it stays in that inside so when you seal this it is at least inside this right so this imagine if i open it mm -hmm. and look at the amount the volume yes. which it will cover the area the surface area so that much of land is going to be polluted because uske upar aur bhi kachra aake wo dab jayega niche right right so right. the percolation quality of uh, uh, soil, soil is also degrade. going to yes. go down and even if it percolates via that you are going to have a chemical leach right. right and then it, if it is burning Worst thing to burn, mm. yes. toxic fumes, yeah. everything. Yeah. Maybe it air, be it mm. soil, be it water. Yeah. This goes into the water when a plastic. It's in plastic when it enters the water. 
can you imagine that? It looks like a jellyfish. Yes. It's a food for the other fishes. Right. They eat, but right. then it gets stuck into the stomach. Right. They cannot eject it. Death, right? Yes. Same happens for the cows. We see right. all these dumping yes. uh, uh, areas, not just cows, whichever animal goes to and feeds on those dumping sites. Yes. And this is so common. We've seen animals feasting yeah. on the, those garbage dumps. It is so, it's such a common sight in very India. Very common sight in India and a very common thing in a normal household where the leftovers are packed into a polythene and yes. just thrown into yes. the dustbin. Right. right. When when households do that, when they put all their trash into, let's say, a big plastic bag, they tie it, they fling it off away yeah. from their home, their buildings, and they think, "Okay, my garbage is done. My garbage is done. Sorted. And I have put it in a bag. I have put it in a place. I have done it properly. Haan. Okay. So that's how they that justify the, themselves. Yes. But they are not realizing where is it going. This, what is happening to that? In our uh, waste management, we call it the NIMBY attitude. Okay. Not in my backyard. Okay, it is there Haan. everywhere. Yeah. Entire world follows this. Not yeah. in my backyard. Kachra bhi kaise na? Ham log dekho kachre ka dabba. Mere ghar ke samne, aapke ghar ka kachra, aapke ghar ke samne nahi chahiye aapko. Kyu? So then work upon it. No, if right. you don't want to see a kachre ka dabba, right. if you start segregating, if you start reducing, right. if you start refusing. All these things. If you yes. start taking care of your own no, um, trash, green yeah. waste. Right. You, you mentioned segregating. Okay. So I want to ask you if let's say now more or less people have become aware about wet waste, dry waste, at least two categories. Let's say I am segregating wet waste and dry waste. No problem. But when the person is coming to collect my waste, what I am noticing is that he is putting it in the same bin. Yeah. Wet waste and dry waste milake. So what motivation do I have to segregate my waste? When I'm seeing all my mehnat is going down the drain, I will also not segregate it. So simple thing, when the wet waste, uh, wet waste gets uh, mixed with the dry waste, uh, contamination happens. Yes. And there... Where once it is mixed together, further kuch nahi hoga usse. So what motivation I can give you is, take care of your uh, wet waste. Mm. Okay, take care of your wet waste as in, just get one matka. Aapke ghar mein matka ke liye to space hoga hai. A little bit of one brick of cocoa peat is enough. Start composting. Okay. okay? Start making bioenzymes. Yeah. I'll tell you the fayda is ka kya kya hoga. Composting aapka compost ban jayega. Yeah. Okay, if you have, nowadays everybody has a nuclear family, zada green waste aata nahi. Even if you have a big family, you have a bigger house. So right. you can have a, you can always uh, make space for a bigger compost bin. Right. So composting is one habit which right. you should inculcate right. in your daily. It doesn't take time. Right. Believe me, it just takes 5 to 10 minutes of your day. 24 right. hours may 5 to 10 minutes yeah. aake paas zaroor honge. Yeah. And when you make it, it's like, for me, it is stress relief. Yeah, yeah it's it like is, therapy. It is a therapy for me when I make uh, compost and then when I make bioenzymes. You are making bioenzymes, yeah. you are using them, you are eradicating chemicals from your life. Right. You but are the problem with composting is that it, you know, there's this, I don't know if it's a myth or if it's a reality or if it's just a learning curve. There's so much of smell, there's so much of insects that it attracts. It's so difficult okay. to, you know, master yeah. it. No, no, no. So, it is just like cooking. Huh. Initially, we have problems, huh. then we master it. Yeah. So, initially, there will be teething problems because you're not used to it. Okay? Right. right. So, if it is smelling, then definitely you need to add the browns. The ratio of browns and greens has to be equal. You have to balance that ratio. Right. Once you get that perfect ratio, aapki chai badiya ban jati hai na, ratio thik se. Aapko kya measuring cups rakhte hai uske liye? Nahi. And so it is just like that. I always give simple examples. So once you get your tea right, once that's when you get Haan. your compost right. And if you don't do, if you don't make tea, aapko zindagi bhar mein chai nahi mada nahi aayegi. Aapko yeah. compost bhi banane nahi aayega. Yeah. So it's just uh, trial and error. It you, just trial keep, error. you just keep it's experimenting. Yeah. It's, it's really mare. Compost aapka ban ke hi rahega. Aapko, you feel it is too wet, you add dry. You feel it is too dry, you add wet. Haan. So it is simple and when it is done, I tell you, it's like black gold. We call it black gold. Yeah. You smell it, you feel as if uh, first rain mein how the mithi smells, na? the yeah. soil smells so beautifully. That same beautiful smell you get. Wow. And you don't need plants. If you have plants, you're blessed. 
Yeah. If you don't have that many plants, right. you just go and empty that bin into any of your bahar yeah. mein there are paths and all. Yeah. Just empty it. Yes. You're giving it back to Mother Nature. Yeah. So what's the harm? Do that. It's well, that simple. Yeah. It's it's so beautiful. Uh, the way you explain it almost makes me want to try it out. Please do so try it. Let me know. I will, I will try it out and I will take more tips from you after okay. this. But uh, yes, so coming back to eco break, since this is uh, one thing that has been gaining traction recently, people have started questioning this, be it positively or be it negatively. So if you could just walk us through the process of making one eco break, how? Okay. What are the steps? How do we do it? So first and foremost. Like I said, after you're done with all your R's, yes. please remember R's in capital and bold letters. Follow those. Uske baad hi eco bricks karna. And if you have any person mm -hmm. who's willing to take your single-use polythenes, multi-layered plastics, mm -hmm. tiny tiny bits, achhe se unko de dijega. Don't make eco bricks if you right. have a person who's coming over. Right. If you don't have these people, right. then are you going to put it into the dustbin just like that to harm the environment? No. That thing you will make an eco brick. Okay. And how will you make it? Eco brick may the first, I, uh, when I tell uh, children about it, the first thing I tell them is the one who comes last is the winner. Okay. So it gives you a measure of how much okay. plastic you are using, right. how much chocolates. With children, yeah. it's always chocolates and yeah. chips and biscuits. Yeah. So how much unhealthy food you're e eating. Right. So that gives you a measure. Yeah. Right? So when packets come you wash it properly. Right. And uh, if you're using a bioenzyme to wash, you can reuse that water. So right. water is not wasted. Right. Bioenzymes use kareo, your water is getting rejuvenated. Again, okay. so everything is in a cycle when you are doing it the right way. Right. Okay, then you dry it and the bottle has to be dry and right. you put it inside and you compact it with a strong stick. So right. compacting is very important for right. this brick to gain a certain strength. Right. Okay. So that is very important. Eco bricks is not just about putting all these things and just throwing it away. Okay. So you have to do it sensibly. So right. when you go on compacting it, see right now it is making a noise. See, right. Aritha, it is not done. So this yeah. is still in process. Okay, so this is so full, but there is still space in this see? to put more. You can hear okay. this. So it is not full. Right. So it has to attain a certain density for right. it to become strong for further construction. Right. If you're not going to use it for construction, which most of us do not. So what right. we do is, uh, in my house, what I do, I make planters, planter right. stands with this. Okay. I make small stools. So right. uh, people who know, who've uh, gone through my sessions of eco bricks and yes. all, they've seen that famous stool of mine ah. that I make everyone sit. Yes, so I've that seen is, that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that is one strong uh, stool ah. where everyone can sit. So you can make garden chairs, you can make terraces, you can make stools, things, all of that. Yeah. And yeah. the best part, what I had done was I did it with the stool. Okay. So you can make all of that. And yeah. the best part, what I had done was I decorated this with jute, some yes. dry flowers and all. I made it as a gift. Yeah. I give everyone a gift. Yeah. 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 Whoever I meet, whoever dignitaries I meet, I give them an eco break, a break yeah. as a gift. So they just wonder, what is this? This looks so beautiful. But what is it? So when I tell <laughs> them, this is a when I tell them, this is a hai. It is the best out of waste which I'm giving yes. you. It is an upcycle gift. Upcycling is too much enough. So yes. I upcycle my kachra yes. doing this. So got it. So we got the entire process that we're supposed to use clean washed plastics and we're supposed to compact it into this eco break to make a break out of this, yeah. right? I remember last time when you got this, the one that you got was so heavy. Yeah, yeah. It was actually yes. like a brick. So that is what <laughs> this turns into. Correct. Okay. But now the question that everyone will have is, why will I take the effort to clean my waste, to dry my waste and then to do this? Because if I tell this to any homemaker, She'll be like, Mujhe ghar mein itne kaam hai, mujhe khana banana hai, mujhe bachcho ko sambhalna hai, mujhe sab kuch karna hai. I don't have the time to wash and clean my waste. Ek to aap kam kar do, ye sab lana aapke bachcho ke liye, you're caring so much for your children, so this is not good for your children. Correct. So first and foremost, band karo. Kar sakte ho band, nahi kar sakte ho band. So phir thoda sa to, tomorrow your children are going to breathe the same air. Okay, hum to chale gai. Ye mare, half of my life is gone. Right. I have to care for my children. Huh. So if you're caring for them right now, giving them organic food, giving huh. them 
um, non uh, by instead of sugar you give them date syrup and everything yeah. think about the environment think about the air which you're going to breathe are they going to carry oxygen cylinders later nahi na so think about that so while making up utna 5 minute nikalo aapke samay se get that time 5 minutes just wash it dry it and put it that is my answer to people who talk like this yeah. because they definitely care for the children today they do not care for the future of the children yeah they don't think that they don't you, take all these things to have seriously. that perspective right. you can't live for today mm-hmm. are we have taken everything from the environment today right. everything pura chheen liya hai what have i left for my child what have i left for my future generations right. polluted water polluted soil polluted yeah. air so all that i can do mere akele karne se koi farak nahi padne wala but right. still i will do Yes. because i know at least two three people will follow me right right so that is about it right. you know for people who ask me these questions these are my answers yeah. to them right and you you have a young daughter and obviously you you are concerned about her future and the environment that she's going to grow up in so what are the steps that you consciously take for your child or that you teach your child uh, you know a lifestyle a way to lead life kya changes you have brought about in her life which you think other kids are not doing or other mothers are not doing and they should do it okay so uh, i have a son as well yes. who is uh, now in the third year studying at manika right so both of them yeah. so whenever they are eating all these unhealthy things like i said mm-hmm. i can go on telling them i cannot stop yeah. i am not 100% my house is not 100% uh, zero, zero waste, waste. Yeah. but yes i know how to deal with it so first and foremost they know that we have eco bricks so wo khud dho ke rakh dete hain alag se it goes inside the eco brick right my son also makes eco bricks in manipal which wow. i'm really proud of <laughs> so at least kuch to main i had no expectations ki wo karega but i'm really happy that at least he is being conscious yes then carrying your own bag every time right carrying your own water wherever you go right and try not to use the tissue papers right carry your own napkins ha huh. and all these things you know don't use all these uh, single use uh, items like forks and knives and all Haan. all so those plastic cutlery plastic cutlery and all everything mm-hmm. show some love towards nature yes. plant trees like my daughter is in uh, uh, modern life so she is into the clean club right so where they have all these kind of things you know Haan. happening small little workshops happening which you know gradually nobody can be 100% right I always say hundred percent की तरफ मत जा, one percent भी करे हो यार वो बिना। Yeah, because many people uh, don't take even yeah. one step because they think the journey is very Main difficult. नहीं, it's like एक से क्या होगा? हाँ, एक से क्या होगा? से सागर बन जाए। Right, right. So that I've, is how. I've also know? seen this very different uh, attitude uh, amongst people. Uh, so if they are throwing something out of their car window, okay, and they'll be like, I have paid the tax. Yeah, the, the government so is supposed to clean it. Blame the government for everything. So everything. it's okay. मतलब ये तो साफ हो गया ही. Shows the attitude of the person. मेरे सुपाले थे तो पैसे मिल रहे हैं. ये साफ करने के लिए मैं क्यों डस्बिन खोजता फिरूं? अच्छा, the same tax payers are there abroad also. Yeah. आप खुद जब abroad जाते हो, will you do that? Yeah, there are penalties abroad there? for throwing waste on the roads. <laughs> that is if, what. If we even throw one packet, we'll get like a five hundred yeah. dollar something penalty. It's, exactly. It's that so, uh, एक तो गवर्नमेंट का वेन यू हैव जिस स्पोकन अबाउट इट आई वुड से दैट वी नीड स्ट्रिक्टर लॉस वी नीड स्ट्रिक्टर फाइन्स वी नीड हैवी फाइन्स बट इमेजिन फॉर अ पर्सन हु इज गोइंग इन अ बी एम डब्ल्यू एंड स्ट्रोइंग बॉटल्स आई हैव सीन दैट उनके लिए पाँच सौ का क्या ये है वैल्यू है सो ऑल दीज वैल्यूज वी नीड टू इनकल्केट इन आर माइंड All these things money cannot buy. Yeah. Money cannot give you values. Unfortunately, नहीं तो बहुत कुछ अच्छा होता, different होता. So that yeah. is the thing, you know. छोटे बच्चे, even uh, people, these vegetable vendors, all these people. Yesterday I went to the market. I told him, please, भैया मुझे पॉलिथिन मत दीजिए. तो ये हाथ जोड़ के बोला दीदी आप महान हो. आपके जैसे लोग और चाहिए हमें. आप मुझे कभी भी फोन कीजिए मैं ठूंगा मैं सब आपको भेज दूंगा सामान. So we spoke about eco bricks. We spoke about composting. Another thing that you mentioned is bio enzymes. So what are they, and how can we make them? So uh, bio enzymes are uh, basically enzymes which are made out of your waste, okay. kitchen waste again. Uh, 
mainly the fruits which we eat, the citrus fruits, उसके peels का बनता है then uh, neem ka bhi banta hai tulsi ka bhi banta hai aloe vera ka bhi banta hai hibiscus ka bhi banta hai then those blue flowers um, kya hai uska naam ma the blue flowers which we uh, offer to shiv ji yes aparajita ha uska to bahut acha banta hai ha and uh, so many whatever we uh, whatever peels are there they can be converted rose beautiful enzyme with rose and lemon peels and everything so yeah. we converted into enzymes so what are these enzymes how to use them so basically these enzymes uh, when used in a certain proportion when they are diluted they can replace your cleaners which are chemically loaded okay. in your household okay. now how like cleaners like the ones which we use to wash our uh, utensils right. for uh, your washing uh, clothes cleaning your bathrooms toilets right then um, all these uh, insect repellents right uh, room fresheners then uh, one step further your body mist oh my god everything yeah. and um, then uh, you know uh, nowadays they're using these in a certain proportion for the sewage treatment plants okay so when they're going down the drain yeah. also they're cleaning up your sewage Wow. So the, yeah. it has seen that even for the water, yeah, uh, yeah, the river rejuvenation, mm -hmm. enzymes are used, and uh, the aquatic life is better. The dissolved oxygen, uh, ka, uh, yeah, the, yeah, whatever the quantity is, is more than what it yes. was before. It is improving. So all these uh, things happen with just one enzyme, which is made out of waste. Plus, again, you are diverting the waste from your waste. So what you call waste is so useful now. एक तो आपका compost और एक bioenzymes wet waste के लिए. These are the two solutions. एक दम which which do wonders. Right. So so how do we go about making these bioenzymes? So we have a proper proportion in which these are added. Sugar, sugar नहीं sorry, jaggery, water and the peels and a container. That is all you need. So it is a process of fermentation which happens. And gradually, वो एंजाइम बनता है. It takes three months for the एंजाइम to be ready. And then you strain it. Okay, when you strain it, you get the clear liquid and you get the pulp. So the pulp looks as if the fruit is cooked. When the fruit is cooked, how pulpy it becomes? It is like that. So that is used as a concentrated cleaner. It has got all the cleaning properties. It can clean your lime scales also. You don't need to scrub also. Just leave it for uh, like uh, an hour or so, and you give it a gentle scrub. Your lime scales are gone. Wow. And I have tried it. I don't talk unless I have tried it on myself. So, in my house, I'm using it every day. Yeah. I also own a brand called Beelin, right. under which I also sell it, not on a larger scale, but uh, whoever wants can buy from me. Right. And जो हम लोग when we are mopping, we use that liquid. I use my bioenzyme instead of that, so it's a mixture of neem and citrus which I make. Huh. So it is a good insect repellent also. I'm not using any strong uh, antiseptics also, right. which you know uh, irritate my nose as well as you know everything. Right. So it's like my house is like um, trying gradually trying to cut down on all the harmful chemicals which later affect the body also, which affect the water bodies also. Wow! Like, so it's the same uh, bioenzyme. It's the same solution that is helping you clean your floors, your utensils, multi your uh, multi-purpose. Yes, so multi-purpose. We don't need specialized no. special liquids. So no, 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 special you cleaners. Need for clothes, special need. mind. Yeah, which will make the bioenzyme. Yes. That is about right. it. And even the rashes and all, yeah. you know, are taken huh. care of. Oh wow, that's so beautiful. definitely the yeah. rashes. Why? How? Huh. You, it needs a medical uh, attention. Right. But if it is itching too much, what we do is we tend to apply something. You right. just spray the bioenzyme, right. and it's taken care of. Right. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So now that we have covered uh, eco breaks and composting and bioenzymes, what are the other things that uh, your organization is doing? So we have in our organization we have one vertical called educational institution. Okay. So under educational institutions, we cover the schools, we cover colleges, we cover universities. Right. So for them, we have a program called Social Internship Program. Okay. 
in that we cover all the environment related uh, you know awareness which we spread ek to hamara waste management pe pura session hota hai then we have uh, a session on water conservation we have a session on forestry we have a session on harit ghat harit ghat covers 54321 formula which covers jal jangal zameen janwar aur jal hmm so ye sare and plus we have one session for uh, communication skills every day basically right. personality development soft skills pure cover karte hain and the best part about this is uh, this is an online uh, program which we do for universities across india so since uh, we have uh, our presence everywhere around the, the country so we have uh, enos in every university right. where uh, they nominate the students okay. and then they go through a, a selection procedure right. and then we give them the training the training okay. is provided by one of our best trainers in the yes. countries they are related to different educational institutions different uh, yeah, they have they hold different my uh, posts and all in different ministries and all तो ये सारे मैंने वी हैव वी गिव द बेस्ट ट्रेनिंग एंड व्हाट इज द फी व्हिच वी चार्ज देयर टाइम सो द टाइम इज द फी व्हिच वी चार्ज वी डू नॉट डू एनी मनी एक्सचेंज कुछ कुछ भी नहीं है एंड द अपॉर्चुनिटीज व्हिच दे गेट आफ्टर डूइंग दिस प्रोग्राम इज लाइक क्रेजी वी हैव दिस एनईवाईपी नेशनल एनवायरनमेंट यूथ पार्लियामेंट Uh, so we had it in different levels regional right. level and then uh, the sub regional and then the national level okay. and the national level was done in delhi in the sansad bhavan where uh, the uh, honorable lok sabha speaker and the honorable environment minister they were present for both the sessions so these are the opportunities which they get and they are confidently speaking my you will not feel that they are sitting next to the the uh, speaker himself honorable speaker himself yes. uh, that confidence when you see in your students it is like why well, i was just crying with pride <laughs> i was yeah. so happy i was so yeah. proud of myself that these are my students who've come right. up right. so and then we had a, a vayu uh, conference uh, in bhubaneswar uh, last year so all these conferences all these things they get to present their papers they get to you know uh, speak about it they do not need to go through the clearance levels they go directly to the final level okay. so that are the benefits they work with us they are uh, if they wish to they work with us we have volunteers we have a sipa which is the social internship uh, program alumni association right. where we have 1000 plus students today youngsters uh, which are the future of tomorrow in right. whose hands the environment is mm-hmm. so they are working with us Wow so, th- so so this is only for school students no, or this university is for university students? students okay and in bengal unfortunately i have only two universities with me uh, right. one is the bangabasi morning college which right. is attached with us and another is lopani institute right so we have enos over there environment noodle officers so okay. they help us with the students and all so these enos are faculty members or students faculty members faculty members yes. and they nominate yes. one student five every students. five students yes. for every university yeah. Okay got right. it got it so if any university wants to enroll yeah. with your program they have an understanding that they'll need an eno, ENO. who will be yeah. nominating five students every yeah. year for this program eno is the connect between the students right yeah. got it got yeah. it no that is beautiful because students these days they have so many things to do they have so many internships and extracurricular activities sports sub cheez mein they have to do something or the other and in the end uh we see that students tend to do things only for certificates to yeah. strengthen their cv to show some yeah. kind of work experience and now that sustainability is gaining so much traction so many big companies are talking about their environmental initiatives yes. all of a sudden it has yeah. become so important for corporates so if they have this background if they have this work experience or this certificate from such an organization that they have worked on this uh, topic on this concept then that definitely backs them up adds a you know a different feather to their cap that they have good understanding about this as well even if they are not going to make a career in the environment space still they have a, a, an understanding of this which can help them secure a good job or even further in their life if they want to do anything yes. in the environment space <laughs> right right uh you can another thing we have recently started noticing is how influenced indians 
or I would say Indian youth is getting by the Western culture, be it in terms of fast fashion, be it in terms of consumerism, be it in terms of the lifestyle that they are leading, the use and throw lifestyle that they are, uh, you know, gaining. And we, when we reflect, when we look back, we realize that the traditional Indian culture was of cheese samhal ke rakhna, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, handing down things from one sibling yeah. to the other, even if a new kid was born, usko purana purana saman hi jata yeah, tha, yeah. which now is not, not, no, no longer tradition. People are like, I have, you know, it's my first baby, I want everything new. Or siblings also don't share clothes these days. They're like, no, our styles don't match, all of that. So, what is your thought about this change that has come about in Indian household? So, uh, Basically, this something which is happening well, right now, you can see a different uh, change in the Western countries as well. Because yes. they are having this concept of thrifting. Yes. They have now the concept started. of upcycling, which mm -hmm. again, we are trying to aid. So ah. whatever West, whatever India used to do before, yes. they have taken everything from us. Yes. Where they changed and then we have taken all that change. Yes. And then again, now that again, they are doing the upcycling and all which we yeah. used to do in years back, gone yeah. down by my, maybe my great grandfather, great grandmother, they all, yeah. the lifestyle which they used to lead, they are following. Now again, we are raping. So in a sense, Indians have to go back, back to their roots. Back to our culture, back to our roots. A simple thing of lighting diya in front of, uh, ye, uh, ghi ka diya in front of Tulsi ji. What does it signify? For people, it is uh, superstition, maybe it is a belief, maybe whatever. But what is the scientific reason? Right. When you burn something, it is purifying everything around you. So when you're burning a ghi diya, you're purifying the air around you. So you get that pure air. What is the reason behind the havans which we used to perform? So when you do the havans, whatever impurities are there, they are getting burnt into the fire. But what unfortunately has been started is we have started adding chemicals in our havans, uh, whatever, they started burning plastics, plastic tires, a holy ka. So, we have Holika. You see Holika then at times, you see the tires being there, the plastics going inside. So, that is where our Sanskriti, our culture, jo hai, that is also gets damaged over there. Right. You know, because bhi tha, it was so pure with all these kind of convenient impurities going in. Now you say that you burn the ये आप होलिका दहन करते हो हमारा पर्यावरण खराब हो जाता है. All these environmentalists. That's why I don't call myself an environmentalist. I am a volunteer yeah. because they are always what when you say an environmentalist, they are always standing against things. So what we are doing is over here trying to make people understand, taking them back to our Indian culture, right. which was not using chemicals, which was of reusing clothes, which was not right. of throwing. Till the end, we used to use the yes. clothes. Yes. Sari, mummy ki sari, Haan. jo hai, uski kaat kaat ke, hum log bags banate the, bag ka ho gaya, pocha banate the. Yes. And then it used to go. Everything we repurpose, even those glass jars glass that come jars, into our homes. Everything. Even, I've seen now, jo swiggy zamato ke jo boxes aate hain, jis mein food deliver hota hai, that also people repurpose and reuse. Everything. So, if you have that mindset, all you need to do is change your mindset a little bit. If you're not doing anything, out of 10 things, even, even if you're doing a one thing yes. properly, do it properly. Yeah. So the mindset has to change. Right. So many times it so happens that I have a black colored dress in my way. I have, yeah. then I go and buy another one. I come home to see another three lying yeah. there which were untouched. Yeah. So just be mindful while you buy something. I'm not stopping you from buying anything. Yeah. You just have to, you know, just tell yeah. uh, it. Now it's come, how repeat the clothes? This party, how do you wear this again? Same crowd. Hoga. Follow Priyanka Chopra. Uh, she, uh, uh, she has the money to buy clothes, which she's bought once. Yeah. She has the value for that money. So she will not buy more. She has, a, she has the money for the laundry, where she gives her clothes in the laundry and wears it again. Yes. So if you don't want to listen to us, Listen to Priyanka Chopra, yeah. she's also saying yeah. the same thing. <laughs> no, no, there are a lot of uh, Hollywood actresses uh, these days who have decided to just stop expanding their wardrobe yeah. and to not even in uh, big events, even in award shows, they're wearing the same gowns that they wore five, six years back. And, you know, they're, they're, 
they're making a trend out of it Absolutely. that we are not going to buy so new clothes. So here clothes. you know who yeah. comes in picture? Mm. The influencers. Yes. So I would really like to have yes. more and more influencers talking about sustainability right. and doing the way, uh, by right. not just talking but also thoda bhot follow bhi karo. Huh. It's very easy to go and talk about new new brands which are coming up and all huh. that. But talk about suspense, uh, yeah, sustainability, yes. talk about you talking about those brands and your same clothes which you had worn for your last reel. Right. That also helps. <laughs> small little changes, you yeah. know. Start yeah. very small baby yeah. steps towards yeah. sustainability. But this this has to come from within. It cannot yeah. be a paid collaboration. Any brand cannot sponsor <laughs> that particular video, that particular reel. For instance, if we we want to spread the word about e-waste uh, recycling and e-waste management, and we know that influencers can get us the reach that we want, but then. We'll have to go and pay them to talk yeah. about e-waste recycling, which is um, quite expensive. That's why we have our own influencers. Yes, yes. <laughs> that, that, that's why there are very few influencers talking about uh, the environment because environment-related companies cannot or do not want to sponsor these activities. We want it to come very organically, very yeah. naturally. Which, which brings me to my next question, Yogini. Most of the organizations that we have seen working in the environment space. Are either NGOs or voluntary, like you said, or not-for-profit organizations? How far can such organizations go without funding, without any backing, without any profits? How far can they sustain? So this is a very uh, difficult question for me to answer because we need to have the volunteers need to have that kind of a mindset for the organization to go up. Right. You know, to you know, just keep working. Yeah. So we need those kind of people only, and that will happen only if the mindset of the people change. If they don't think about money, that is the only thing which I really I don't know. I also need to find an answer to because, this because there are basic logistical yeah. costs. You know, if you're training a student in a university, or if you're taking that student to the Lok Sabha, there is some amount of administrative logistical costs involved. It can never be free of so, cost. It can never be based on favors. Exactly. So right. here we can talk about CSRs and all, which yes. you know they fund these kind of organizations which right. come forward. Right. So that's how it can work. Right. Otherwise, it's difficult for an organization to survive. We have log bhi time dete hai, but then again, if again, see, if everything is fine at home, you can you know go ahead and work. You, yeah. We cannot ask a person to just stop. Doing right. whatever he's doing for uh, yeah. his bread and butter and turn yes. towards this. Yes. All we can say is with the bread and butter, think about yeah. the place which will give you bread and butter. Right. That is all yeah. from our side we can do. Right. So again, there need yeah. to there need to be more and more companies who are willing to come yes. and fund these kind exactly. of organizations. Right. That would help. Right. So we need more people to put in them put in because charity to sab log karte hi hai. Yeah. People yeah. donate. People yeah. on their birthdays mithai baatte hain. Ye sab karte hain. People do such yeah. things. So we just need th that funding to be channelized towards the right organizations, towards the right initiatives. Aapko plantations mein belief hai. Aap usme karo. Aapko koi or cheez mein belief hai. Food waste bachane mein belief hai. Ya water bachane mein belief hai. आप अपने ही कॉज को फंड करो बट करो कोलकाता so if you say in general to definitely we can see more and more people coming forward more and more organizations more and more eco entrepreneurs coming forward which are giving you a solution khali see we we are spreading awareness main awareness spread karti hu lekin awareness wahan tak jayega if i have a solution for it right. so there are eco entrepreneurs come into picture right. so earlier they weren't now if you open an instagram your instagram the page is full of eco entrepreneurs which yes. is a good thing to yes. see If people are making business out of uh -huh. it, let them do. At least yeah. they are trying to change your life. They're giving right. you at a reasonable rate. It's right. not that you were not spending on all these chemical right. things or non-organic things. Huh. So you're spending on that. You right. are getting that option. So even in Calcutta, I can see more and more. Uh, earlier, only Lata Aunty had her first huh. zero waste shop. Yeah. So now we have we are having more of uh, the, these kind of options. Right. People are trying to change. 
there are uh, another uh, organizations which are coming up there are ngos which are coming up who are right. willing to spread the awareness as well as give you the solutions right. as well as they are uh, like you know forming a platform where there are multiple options of things which we just ah. talk and spread awareness about uska solutions bhi aapko milta hai so that is one yeah. very good thing which was not there uh, maybe 2 years down the line post covid everything has changed sustainable products or organic products are slightly premium priced uh, which which kind of creates a barrier for the masses to have access to them they think ki main itna mehanga cheez khareedu sustainable usse acha main thoda sa sasta main clothes ka example le leti hu fast fashion h&m zara they are so much cheaper than any good sustainable brand that will last me 10 years i know that kurta will last me 10 15 years but i know this top is coming at 1/10th of the cost right, right. so even if it lasts me 2 years i'll go and as a college student or as a young professional i'll go and buy that cheap product instead of investing in that <laughs> high end premium but good for the environment product so how can we motivate such people with small budgets but who want to do good for the environment Uh, so here is where all those uh, thrift shops come in, right. where all those uh, secondhand uh, well, thrift is what yes. secondhand only. Yes. So we can have something like that in Kolkata. Now we are talking about free love. Free love. <laughs> just going there. The in just to make it sound better. <laughs> yes, in Kolkata yes. there is a store which sells all these uh, free loved uh, thing. And if you remember in uh, Parivartan. Uh, yes. Parivartan we had this free love stall also yes. so Parivartan was one uh, place where we had all these sustainable sustainable brands of Kolkata under one roof right so it is why these sustainable products are expensive let me go to that question so there are very few options that is right so we want more and more people to come forward to take sustainability as their business and right. you know uh, move ahead so right. that we will have more options which will make it cheaper okay so it's, it's basically a demand and supply demand pool and supply. once the demand increases the supply, supply will increase and increase. obviously the cost it of is, uh, you know the management will, right yes. basic yes. management skills right. they can apply over here also right got it got it <laughs> so one last question i have from you if you had one superpower and you can use it for anything that you want we would prefer if it's related to the environment but you can do you can change anything in the world one superpower that you have what would it be changing the mindset of people oh that's a big one <laughs> pulling out the big guns that's not changing the mindset of yeah. the people aise karti aur sare you know they would have stop using single use pole demand and supply demand hi nahi hai to supply kahan se aayega right so, Right. So, if you only had one superpower, it would be to change the mindset of people and to make people understand that single-use plastic is a big no-no. It needs to stop right away. Thank you so much for joining us today, Yogini. So it was so great having you, and thank you so much for motivating us for things like uh, composting and bioenzymes and eco bricks. I'm sure a lot of us will go back if we don't implement it immediately. At least we'll research about it. We've got in a good uh, information about it so thank you so thank much for joining so us thank and you. Uh, thank you so much you all for joining us and we'll be back with another guest with a- another episode of we the people